Hi, I'm Mark Boyagis with IHS Automotive, and we're here checking out the 2012 Dodge Charger SRT8. Now, this vehicle has a ton of technology, and contrary to popular opinion, not all of it is underneath the hood. And what I'm referring to is the Uconnect Touch 8.4 inch and navigation system with a Garmin interface, an 8.4 inch touchscreen, instrument cluster display, voice recognition, 900 watt 19 speaker audio system, on and on and on and on. There's a lot of muscle underneath the hood of this car. Let's check out the muscle inside the car. Now on the inside, one of the things we like the most about this car and about most of the new Chrysler and Dodge and Jeep and Ram systems is the Garmin navigation system. There's pluses and minuses, but really the most significant plus is its user interface. It has a very simple and easy to understand system. And that's simply because most, or not most, but a lot of people really out there know Garmin's. And so being able to see the where to, the view map, I mean, these are the icons that people would have seen in those PNDs that they've been buying for the last uh, couple of years who are now, uh, and, and those systems are now pretty much dead and gone, but now they can have that same interface on the inside. Plus they can combine it with something like voice recognition. Find nearest gas station. And we can see that, you know, it's it's something that people can use. It's all embedded in their car. It's a really great system. Uh, we think the voice recognition combined with the Garmin navigation is, is a really great uh, interface. Now, speaking of interface, there's a lot of great user interface HMI technologies in this car, and the GUI itself, the wireframe, is built very intelligently. We like the large... Uh, touchscreen buttons uh, with bold text, the quick response time, it's almost instantaneous um, between these different functions. Um, you know, the phone book access, really simple to, to pair through and look through your phone book. Um, the, the, the thing that we like about it best is no matter what screen you're on, these hard keys, these menu buttons are always there and it's very easy to understand navigation, phone, controls, player, you know, it's very simple to see those those systems um, at, 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 on every screen. Now as we can see down here, next to the fog lamp, we have the adaptive cruise control sensor, radar based, which offers forward collision warning and from 20 miles an hour and up, adaptive cruise control with three settings of distance and a really great response time. We really like the system, the only qualm is that we think it should have full speed range since a lot of the competitive systems on the market now do. Another thing we really like about this car is the two 24 gigahertz radar based sensors that sit in each quarter panel in the rear to have a blind spot detection and cross traffic alert function. Now if the user is driving along on the highway or on a two lane road or whatnot and the system detects a car in its blind spot it will light up by showing the warning light in the mirror as seen. Now if from that, the user puts on their turn signal and tries to get over, it'll actually chime if those settings have been set up and help warn the user if there's a, a vehicle in the blind spot. Furthermore, the cross traffic alert does the same thing if you have that function uh, when you're reversing out of a spot, say you're parked between two big Dodge Durangos and you can't see uh, on either side of you, the sensors in the back will actually help you to see those cars coming laterally so that you don't have a, a T-bone at the, uh, the Walmart parking lot. Oh, check out that design. You combine that with a 470 horsepower Hemi V8, a 900 watt Harman Kardon surround sound premium audio system, an 8.4 inch touchscreen display, largest in size among its class, Garmin navigation, adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning, radar based blind spot detection, rain sensing wipers, voice recognition, Bluetooth, the whole package comes together in a great value for just over $50,000. And we think that people who are in that segment looking for that type of vehicle are really gonna enjoy this as a great value. The whole thing really comes together great. The technologies on the inside, we think are something that the boys at GM and Ford should really be concerned about because finally Chrysler's put together something that is a really competitive package and they're gonna be putting it on other vehicles outside the Charger and 300 for the 2012 model year, most notably starting with the new Dodge Dart. For more information on technologies in this car and other automotive reviews, go to ihs.com automotive.